All right, so we're gonna build this collective pitch hub assembly. Uh, it's specifically designed for the team motor U8 motor. And I've got all the parts printed out here, so let's get this assembly started. Here are all the parts right off the printer, my Ender 3 with PLA. Uh, here's just the main hub, the main piece that mounts directly to the team motor. Uh, these are the blade grips. This is an interior control horn, uh, interior control rod, or I guess plate. This is sort of a push plate. This goes inside of the main hub and actuates vertically. I've got some uh, pitching shafts. These are five millimeter stainless steel, hardware, and some bearings, smaller bearings for the uh, push plate here, and then larger bearings for the pitching axis. And at the end here, I've got some uh, rotor blade segments. These aren't the final ones. These are just to show the attachment to the blade grip. Uh, the real blades will be composite later. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is get these uh, blade pitching bearings in. These will just slot right into here. I'm gonna hit that with a hammer. There's actually two per blade shaft. So there's three blades, one on the outside and then a bearing on the inside as well. And the two bearings just gives it better leverage. So when the, the pitching shaft is in there, it's not gonna be able to flex upward when the blade is getting lift. So let me do that. The bearings on the inside are a little bit trickier to get to because you can't get a hammer in there to, to pound it nicely for a snug fit. So what I'm actually gonna do is take a lighter and uh, just heat that area up a little bit and then seat that bearing in. And then as that PLA uh, starts to harden back again, it'll solidify around the bearing. All right, I taped my phone to a tripod so now we can get some better views here. Um, I got all the bearings here on the hub and now we're gonna move over to the blade grips. Uh, with the blade grips, I have this five millimeter shaft with a, a D milled out on it. And this will just interface like this. And then I have some two and a half millimeter set screws that'll go down here and pin this in place. And this is where the actual blade mounts. Got all the blade grips done. The shaft is very secure with those two set screws. Uh, now time to move on to the push plate and the control linkages that happen inside here. So this I just call the push plate. Um, what I'm gonna do here is mount some bearings here and here, and that transfers uh, axial loads or yeah, I guess, I guess, uh, loads in the fixed frame into the rotating frame, which this entire assembly would be in. And this guy slots in here like this and moves up and down. And that's actuated through these bearings, through this hole and out the bottom to an actuator that's mounted in the wing. And mounted to this, first there would be a push rod or some sort of control linkage. And then to this piece is our control horn. And this control horn has the same profile as that uh, blade grip shaft. So basically when this moves up and down, this rotates and that rotates the shafts. And that all happens on this. This slides down inside here. And then we have a pitching blade set. So I haven't exactly figured out what actuator I'm gonna use inside the, the actual aircraft body, but basically I'll have this threaded three millimeter rod that runs through these plates. And this will be secured with a nut, some washers on either side, and that pins it, but this is free to rotate, but I can move it up and down. So I'm thinking maybe having some sort of like fixed uh, nut in the fixed frame. So as this entire thing rotates, it would push it up or down with respect to the airframe, and that gives you really fine control of the collective setting. On the other side of this, I'm just going to insert a M3 nut like that and tighten. 
I'll hit that with thread locker later. Uh, this isn't the actual final version. I'm just testing some of the mechanics here. And now the control horns that actually interface with that uh, pitch rod go on here with an M3, same way. And this is just going to interface directly with the blade grip and the pitching shaft. Do a real quick test fit here. This should just slide down. that perfect now that we have that interior assembly done the last thing to do really is just uh, get this blade grip and shaft through this set of bearings and the real little challenge is going to be uh, getting this to seat properly into that control horn so I'm gonna have to do a little bit of finicking there and then finally there's a hole in there for another two and a half millimeter set screw that'll just pin this in place You can see I got that seated in there now. It's nice and flush against the interior bearing. I don't have the set screw yet, but you can see the pitching shaft through there. And basically now when I rotate this, this whole thing moves up and down. So the inverse should happen if this gets moved up and down. Like I said, for now, this threaded rod is sort of just a stand-in, but what we can do with this is just feed it through this through hole. And then finally, this guy here, I can push on this from the bottom and now we have change of blade pitch. There's also a lot of friction right now. I need to get in there and, and put some silicon grease and uh, also forgot to mention that you do need to mount this to your motor before you install the blade grips in that interior assembly because there's no way to get to those four mounting holes. So uh, I'm not actually running this, I'm just testing the mechanics. I used M3 hardware for everything else with the exception of the set screws and then the blade grips just use one M4 screw. Blades are free to lag, but tight enough, and the centripetal force will pull them straight. And there we have it the complete assembly minus the spinner. Um, this is just the first prototype, just testing some of the mechanics, see how it works. But you can see now we have blades pitching all together and uh, like I said, this is going to be actuated somehow. My thought is maybe having this threaded rod spin through a, an additional thread that's fixed to the airframe, and that gives you really fine precision uh, for your collective setting. And this is intended to be used with the T-Motor U8 motor on a quad rotor platform. Uh, of course, it's special because it'll have collective pitch. Thanks for checking this out. I hope to have... Uh, more prototypes in the future and get this on a flying vehicle as soon as possible. Cheers.